Hi everyone, just a quickie update, if my camera will stay like that. This stuff's arrived. This will be, uh, this is a one kilo spool. Right. It will be the core of my coils. So what is it? It's not steel. It's not stainless steel. It's iron. Yes, I did say it's not steel. Iron. Proper iron. Right, stainless steel is made up of 70 something percent iron. So this stuff's actual iron. So it'd be a hell of a lot denser. Right, it's soft iron as well. See, one mil thick, one kilo spool. Yeah, and it'll take me a while to do three cores. Uh, the only thing is, because there's no coating on it, I don't think I've got the resolution on this camera. Now, there is um, an oxidation. Oh, that might have done it. Hang on, let's take it back. Yeah, I'm not sure you can see it. There's a slight oxidation on the surface, which I can sort out, no problem. I also picked up my nylon stuff today. So I've got plenty of nylon bolts, nuts, washers. So, I'm going to be busy. Add in a bit more. Oh, come on. Thank you. Right, cut some already. I've attached them to a Neo to uh, keep them all together. Um, God knows how many is there. 30. 40, something like that, maybe 50. Uh, and sh as you can see, I'll just get out of my own shadow. Plenty more required. <laughs> so, um, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say somewhere close to 300. So, there we go. Um, just thought I'd uh, also mention. Uh, in the previous section I said that it was one mil wire, it's not, it's half mil. Um, so yeah, it's going to take an awful long time to cut all this many. And on top of that, um, they've all got to be bathed in acid to get rid of the oxidation. And then they need a coating on them to prevent oxidation when they're in the core. So, this is going to take me all week just to cut them. But, what can I say? He'll make a very dense core. Um, and uh, should uh, help improve efficiency even more. So, I'll keep you up to date as I'm going. But right, now. Last uh, update. Um, or mini section, whatever you want to call it. Behave. Come on. Thank you. That's the uh, stuff that I used on the um, SSRG. It's one mil. Uh, that stuff is stainless steel. Uh, no, sorry, not stainless steel. Normal steel. And next to all the cores, will you behave? Go on, readjust. And kill. So you can see the uh, thickness difference <coughs> a mile away. So I've got uh, quite a few done. Just finished uh, watching Terminator Salvation. Kind of fitting. Uh, if I had to hazard a guess, in the... Yeah, squish it down like that. Probably just over a third full. Uh, somewhere between a third and a half. So, just uh, um, something else. Some some of the people may think uh, um, using soft iron is going to cause huge problems with the core being magnetised. Now, yes, no, sort of. <laughs> um, basically. The original approach that everyone seems to use is alternating poles, north-south, north-south on your rotor. 
and they say that gets rid of the uh, magnetic build-up in the core. Um, yes, no, sort of. It's not as simple as that. Um, by using alternating magnetic fields on your rotor, what you're actually doing is, yes, you're degaussing the core, uh, but you're doing it by randomizing the ions. And the ions are what, uh, well, putting it in basic terms, I should say, the ions are what um, conduct the magnetic field. Now, randomizing them is bad because when your coils energize, they, uh, because the ions are randomized, they all have to realign with each other to conduct the magnetic field. And this takes time and energy to do. So, by using that method to degauss your core, um, you're actually killing the efficiency. And when I say killing, I mean literally killing it. However, the AMPCS combined with the FTS system um, degausses the core, but without randomizing the ions. So they're still aligned with each other. And the more you use it, the more aligned they get. Which basically means the more you use it, the more efficient it becomes. Now, how does it do this? I can't tell you. However, the degauss itself um, basically releases energy, and that energy is fed back into the battery. So, the degauss itself, the energy involved in that is not entirely wasted. So, the more, the more it's used, the more efficient it becomes. But, not only does the uh, drive coils um, get re well recalibrated every time the AMPCS is booted, but also the calibration itself um, is reset at the moment. It's every second, so it auto adapts to the state of its core, um, the magnetic field from the rotor, how fast the rotor is going, etc., etc. So. This is going to be interesting. There's a lot of um, work that's gone into the algorithm for it, the control system, and the hardware. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Thanks for watching.